Welcome back to a, I don't know, I don't know if it's a product review or an FNA, but I'm gonna go with an FNA because it's a reference shooting tip, but I'm also gonna review an app that helps you with that. So I'm gonna put it on two playlists, but that's that. And the app that I wanna talk about is called Double Take. It's part of the Filmic Pro app series. And I'll give you a quick overview of how it works and how it's actually really cool for shooting reference. And instead of me talking, I'm gonna record my screen so you can see what this app is doing. This is double take. That is the camera layout here. It depends, of course, on the phone that you have with the lenses that I have here. So you need to check what kind of phone you have and if it works with the app and to what extent. But this is the layout. So you can choose between ultra wide, wide, tele, and selfie. So let's pretend I wanna do ultra wide and selfie for whatever reason. Then you can say yes, confirm. So that's the layout that you get. This is flipping me like this, and you can see where my hand is. It films the screen here, so you can look around, do all kinds of stuff on top of talking, however your layout is. You can switch this to recording it like that, picture in picture, so whatever you record is gonna be burnt into the screen like this. You can move this around, and you can make this full screen as well if you want to. Or you can do a split screen, and it's gonna record it like this. And then there is a discrete mode as well. And this is usually how I record. But, so when I go back here, I choose the FPS setting. So you have 25 frames per second, 30, and 24. Now I am animating at 24 frames per second in Maya. So preferably I shoot at 24 frames per second. So if I bring this in Maya and if whatever style you're gonna animate to, you can copy the reference if you need to, if it's a photo real animation. But you can also record at 30 frames per second. It gives you more frames. You can do some time warping. It just gives you more material. Because ultimately you're not gonna stick to the reference unless it's really demanded by whatever, the client or the type of show or the style, whatever it is where you need to really copy the reference. But ideally it's there as a springboard for mechanics to kind of study how it goes and then you push it there. So I set it to 24 and then you can choose your A and B. And this whole setup has come in really handy for just that sequence that I've just been animating, link in the description and everything, where I shot reference, where I wanted to jump around, do something physical, but at the same time see my face as I'm looking around for eye darts and kind of details if I needed that. So for that, I chose ultra wide, and you can choose that as your A or B, but I chose ultra wide and the telephoto lens. So you can, again, you can choose this where you go A, and be here. It doesn't really matter. It depends on what setup you want to have. Then hit confirm. And then this is what you see. Here, okay, turn around. The mic will not pick things up here, but you can see it is here. I'm going to turn around so I can speak into the mic. You can see the full view of the room, a bit of a close up view. And then in the lower part, you can also make that bigger. This is the expanded wide view. So how does this translate into shooting reference? Well, let me set it up. So I grab my tripod -y thingy with the clamp here. Ugh from my phone, I hit record on the app, and now, and you do your thing, rah, rah, or mm, acting and close up and far away, and you can have the mechanics of doing whatever and get close and ah, and then go back, whatever your shot is. But as you can see, it's kind of hard to film because you don't know what you're filming because your phone is like this. So sometimes I put a mirror behind it so I can see what the viewfinder is doing. I wish there was a an Apple Watch app for that because if you go into Filmic Pro and you have the app open on your watch, you can see that on the watch, you have the viewfinder and you can say record and so on and so on. And it's especially really good on the regular phone app. You can see the screen is much bigger. So that's the only drawback. You can't really see what you're doing, but let's get back into the app. I'll show you what I recorded. So once you're done with the app, you can tap on the upper left part here. And you can see this is the recording. So because, let's go back here, because I switched to the discrete mode and not picture in picture, let's pretend I'm gonna record this picture in picture. This is that, hello, these are my fingers. We're done with this now. You can see the difference. And I can actually shoot it split screen as well. So let's record split screen. So whatever you wanna record. Get back to your recordings. And here you can see the differences. So. This is what you record when it's split screen. So your two screens are burnt into it, right? You can't switch around. So that is that option. And if you go into picture in picture, it's the same thing. The picture in picture is burnt into the other footage. Now, if you don't like that, you wanna keep it separate, then here we go. This is what the wide one record. I'm gonna fast forward, you can see full body. You can see all the silliness that I was doing here. And then you go to the close up, and this is your tail lens. And then here you can see what is going on. You can see closer, upper-ish what I was doing here. Now, as you can see, if I just stand here, it's gonna record my chest. And if I go back up here, it's a bit too high. As in, 
the way its frame is a bit too high. The way those lenses are just positioned, obviously, because you can't shift them around. If I set up my phone like this, it's gonna have a bit of a problem in terms of, it's not gonna record just perfectly the face and then the body. So if you want the face framed, you're gonna bring up the phone a bit, but because of that on a telephoto lens, it's gonna give you a lot of headroom. So you have to play around a little bit with the position. You might have to shoot a couple things differently, but as a whole, it's really, really handy. And again, you don't have to go telephoto and then super wide. You can do all kinds of things. Again, you can do a selfie version in case you need to, I don't know, whatever your setup is, they have many, many options that you can have. But having shot a couple takes or references for this and other clips that I'm animating at home, I have found it really, really helpful. Even if you are just doing kind of mid shot, because that's your frame, like that's my framing the camera right here. And that's what I want to act out. And you don't really have to animate the legs, but you're still wondering what is the placement? How is the weight shift? Because you don't want to cheat completely. It gives you kind of like those hidden gestures that are off screen, right? So if I'm framed like this and I do stuff like that, you still might want to see what are the elbows doing? What, how am I shifting? If I'm on a chair, how am I leaning on the chair? All that stuff will be captured if you shoot it with multiple lenses and with that different setup that you can see in the app. And then once you're done, you can tap on the lower left. You can either select one or both, whatever you want to do. Or you can say, save to the default role here. Yes, it saves to the photo app. Or you can say export. You got all the options here in classic fashion. And if you don't like any of this, you can just hit the delete option and that's it, it's been deleted. If you go back to the camera options here, you can also see that you can tap on the Filmic Pro icon and then there you go. You're back inside this app, you got all the options here. You can go back to device or you can say resolution, that's whatever the Filmic Pro has. But if you're done with this, you can go back to camera and you choose all this and it gives you double take and double take takes you to the app and you're back in there. And that's kind of that, that's the short overview. So Double Take, that is the name of the app. I'm gonna put, of course, the link in the description with all information, go check it out. I'm curious what you think and if there's another app that uses that kind of setup. I'm just used to this and it shoots at 24 frames per second. I'm just used to that setup. But if there's something else that's more awesome, let me know. I'm very curious, I'm always open to trying new things. And that is that for my overview. Again, this is kind of an FNA slash app review, something, something. So hopefully that's helpful to you. And as always, if you're watching this till the very end, thank you so much. I thank you for your patience. If you like this, you can like and subscribe. Totally up to you. It helps my channel grow though. And that is that. That's the pitch at the end. And I'll see you in my next clip.